on the iPad. Koi! Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys what is on my M1 iPad Pro. So I have the 12.9 inch model and uh, I did a video like this in like not too long ago, but it was on my 2018 iPad Pro. So I had the 11 inch model back then and just things have just really changed with the iPad. I have a lot less apps because I finished school and everything and just like it's way more minimal. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any other uploads we're trying to get to 100k and it's only through guys that we could do that so i really appreciate it if you would subscribe so i'm going to start off with my lock screen so um i'm just trying to get this thing not to lock but um the wallpaper that i have here is just the wallpaper that you get from apple so it's just this pretty design i really like it um the orange and the teal is really nice but that's just the wallpaper that you get with the new m1 ipad pros and then Going into my home screen, this is what it looks like. It's kind of different. So the wallpaper I have here is from a YouTuber called Knoopsy. He makes his, makes these really cool designs and things for wallpapers. I'm pretty sure he has a shop now where you can buy these. I have a membership to his YouTube channel. That's why I have access to these wallpapers, but you can get it on his shop. So I'll have a link down below if you're interested. For my home screen, I didn't want a lot of apps cluttering it up. So I just have a few here. My most used apps in the dock here. And then the rest of the apps are on these other two screens here. And then I just have some widgets here on my home screen as well, just to have something on here. Um, so the widgets that I have here, I only have three. Two of them I custom made with Widgetsmith. I really recommend using that app for widgets. It's my favorite app to use for widgets. So the first widget I have here is one that just says the time. And I know there's a time there and there's a time there. There are two times on my screen, but I just really like the widget. So that's why that's there. Then I have my battery percentages. I just like to have like a graphical, is that the word? A graphic representation of like the battery life. Anyway, I really like the widget and the look of it. So I have that there. And then lastly, I have this widget here, which I made um, also with Widget Smith. I just had put a quote there, which says, we lead strange lives chasing our dreams from place to place. That is a quote from my favorite book, The Night Circus, one of my favorite books that I've read ever. Um, so I just put that there. I just really like that quote. And that book is amazing. If you haven't read it, I really recommend it. Then, like I said, I have my most used apps here in the dock. So I guess I'm going to go through those first. Um, first, I just have the Photos app here. Pretty self-explanatory. I have Files, Safari. So the things you get with an iPad. Then I have LumaFusion here. So if you don't know, this channel is run by me and my sister and she edits on the iPad while I edit on my Mac. So I edit using Final Cut Pro, but she's still using LumaFusion till we can get her computer as well. Um, but for now, we're just using this. LumaFusion is really a great video editor for iPad or iPhone. I really recommend it. Um, it's the only app I really recommend for people who are serious about creating content using their iPad and their iPhone. This is my favorite video editing software of all. So um, yeah, I really like this and uh, she just edits all her videos on here. You can see a video she did recently on iPad tips and tricks. So if you're interested, I'll have that in the card up top for you guys. I also have a unboxing on this iPad. If you want to check that out, I'll also have that in the cards up top and the link in the description if you want to check that out as well. Next up, what we have here is Affinity Photo. So that is what we use to edit thumbnails on the iPad. It works very similarly to Photoshop. I use Photoshop on my laptop, but Affinity Photo is just the best option for iPad in my opinion. So that's what we use for thumbnails on here. Since we switch over to the new iPad, we don't have all our designs here. They're all in files app, I'm pretty sure, but they're not all in here. Then we have Procreate, which is one of my favorite apps of all time. I really love this app. Um, I haven't sorted this out yet. Again, we transferred everything from the old iPad to this iPad and uh, it just messed everything around. So a lot of these things I still have to delete. They're old designs that I haven't made like in, ye <laughs> in like years. Um, so yeah, we just have some things here. 
um, but I really love Procreate, really fun to use and draw and just make creative things. Also for thumbnails, I love using Procreate as well. Then we have Good Notes here. I absolutely love Good Notes. I'm pretty so much saying that for every app right now, but Good Notes is my favorite note-taking app for iPad. Notability is also good. When I was in school, I used Notability mainly for my math classes. And uh, it worked really great. I really loved it. But GoodNotes, I just love the creative aspect that you can have with GoodNotes. And um, especially like the new stickers feature. Um, my favorite thing to do on here is just make these diary entries. So I don't know. I just, I really love doing this. It's really fun. And um, just to get like a creative outlet and remember what you did that month. So... Yeah, this is what I like to do with good notes mostly and obviously just make notes and everything is just nice to have here. Then we have the messages app and the settings app, which I just have there because that's where I can quickly get them in the dock. Then we have this page here, which has a bunch of apps here as well. So we have the YouTube app, Gmail. I just prefer that over Apple's mail app, Google Drive, OneDrive. We have Microsoft 365, so it just helps with the one terabyte of storage you have on OneDrive. Then we have Notion, which is again, one of my favorite apps. I'm just gonna quickly go in here, just show you guys. I have a whole video on like my Notion setup and how I use Notion. Um, I just have a few pages here of things, um, video ideas, meal prep, to-dos, um, whatever I need. I love using Notion, especially for like databases and things. So um, you can just see some things that I've made here. Uh, I always just show this because it's my most colorful um, set of databases. That's why I always show my books area. But um, yeah, I just love Notion. It's really fun and it's the best way to organize anything. So yeah, Notion, recommend checking it out as well. Then we have Keynote here, which I also just like to have on hand, either that or PowerPoint. I just haven't downloaded PowerPoint on this thing. I just realized I haven't downloaded Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint on this yet. I'm probably gonna get to that later when I actually need them. Like I said, we're still in the process of downloading a lot of things here, so not everything is like done yet. Um, then we have just have Pinterest here, Zoom, Notability. Like I said, I really like Notability as well. It is a good note-taking app. I have a comparison between Notability and GoodNotes. If you wanna check that out, I'll have that in the eye up top in the description. Um, if you're interested in seeing like the comparison between the two because both are really good in their own way. Then we have Take A Lot, which is kind of like a, just an online shop for South Africa. So I just, that's my favorite place to get anything that I need since Amazon is not great in South Africa, but that's what we have here. And then lastly, we have this folder here, which is photo and video, which is just a bunch of creative apps that I like to use and have on hand when we're making videos or photo editing on the iPad. So what we have here is Lightroom. So I have the photography plan, I think, for uh, that includes Photoshop, Lightroom, and Lightroom Classic for Adobe. So I just love using Lightroom whenever. Then we have YouTube Studio here, which is just great for managing any type of analytics and things for YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel, love that. Emulsio is a great app for stabilizing footage. So um, if you have any shaky footage that you want to stabilize on the iPad, Emulsio is great for that since LumaFusion does not have that, which is really sad, but um, Emulsio is a great alternative to that. Then we just have iMovie here. I just have this here because I often do tutorials and things using iMovie. So that's why I have it here on the iPad. Then we have Fonto here, which is a great app for editing photos and adding text to photos. I just really love this app as well. It's always been my go-to since I started YouTube. So I just have a soft spot for Fonto. And then we have AnyFont here, which is a paid app, but it's one of the most useful apps if you're creating content on your iPad. So. It's very cheap, it's not expensive at all. And then you can import fonts into here. So if you download a font from the internet and it goes to downloads and files, just say open in any font and then it will say the font here. And for example, I'm gonna choose Babis New. You click on the font, click on install, allow, close. And then when you go to settings, you go to profile downloads and then just install. Type in your passcode, click next and install. And then you have that font installed on your iPad and it's available to you in any app. Um, so you don't have to worry if an app doesn't allow additional downloads or installs, you have any font for that. So 
I really recommend any font if you're a creator and you need more fonts and custom fonts available in other apps. Any font's the way to go for that. And iPhone as well. Um, but yeah, this is just for iPad that I have it here. And then the next screen is very boring. <laughs> so these are basically just Apple apps. The only exception here is Widget Smith, which I just don't want between all my other apps. Um, it's just something that I use for widgets here. But um, yeah, we just have all the Apple apps here. I'm not gonna be using most of these, I believe, on my iPad, but they're here if I need them. Um, so the most used ones are probably gonna be Widget Smith and Music. Um, but that's everything that's on my iPad Pro. Uh, it's pretty plain, like I said, it's not a lot. There's probably gonna be more apps once I realize like, oh, I don't have that app. I'm probably gonna install some. But for now, I'm pretty sure this is all we need. There's not much we need right now, um, apart from video editing software and thumbnails of editing software. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and maybe saw something that you like, an app or something. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any other questions you might have for me about like apps or anything. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all of my other iPad related videos that I have and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!